During my sophomore year of college, I became interested in a female writer um, whose name is Mary Chevalita Dunbright, but she's most commonly known by her pen name, George Edgerton. She's an almost entirely forgotten female writer from the 1890s. In decadence with Dr. Grant Scott, we read some of her short stories, um, and I became really interested in how progressive her short stories her short stories were, and how she really anticipated modernism. Princeton Firestone Library has a collection of her original manuscripts and uh, personal letters. I was granted access to their rare books collections, and I was able to um, look through letters that Edgerton had written herself to her father and her siblings and her publisher and other very famous authors. Um, there's letters from Joyce and uh, Shaw and Oscar Wilde. So that was really fascinating when the process switched from one of me just reading short stories and reading literary criticism to moving directly to the primary sources and letters that had been written in 1893, 1894. Edgerton's own life was equally as interesting and um, full of adventure as the lives of her protagonist. These very interesting women that are asserting their agency in society and working up against the Victorian norms of what the ideal woman is. I was able to create my own um, outline for what um, research I would look at, uh, what sources I would use, and I went about finding these on my own and reading them on my own. Um, it took me off of the Muhlenberg campus and to another college campus to do my research. Um, I started to use other libraries. Um, I was also able to get in contact with a George Edgerton scholar named Tina O'Toole who is a professor at the University of Limerick. It really expanded um, my research to become more global and in some ways more interesting and more important now that um, literary critics that in the past I had only read about, you know, I can now have a conversation with and um, they value my research and the work I'm doing. And um, so as a learner, it made me not only see the importance of this work and how it moves beyond the college campus, but it showed me that um, I can look for resources outside of um, Muhlenberg and, and the departments here that um, I've worked with for the last three and a half years. Designing my own course was very interesting, but very hard in many ways. So it's prepared me for by showing me um, what I hope to be doing in the future and, and what that really entails and what that will look like.